Hello and welcome to Divine Sunshine. Uh, this is uh, Divine Unisoul's 11 YouTube channel. Okay, want to tap into the energies. Please make sure that you check out my podcast, Divinely Speaking Unplugged, um, which is, I have a opportunity to interview K-Moon. You hear me talk about K-Moon so many times on this channel. I am so happy to have done that because we just said, I kept on saying, come on, come on. We try to get a date together. We'll miss this. And it seems like the stars and the moons align. And we're like, no, let's just do it now and let's make it happen. And so I am so happy and elated that I had the opportunity to be able to interview her. She's a well-known, renowned uh, astrologist, um, that especially is high on YouTube as well. And um, especially for Twin Flames and Soulmates, she has uh, a, a real wealth of knowledge of what's going on with the Twin Flames using the astrology charts. Um, looking at the planetary shifts really good those things that I learned from her I always pass it on to you all and you hear me say K Moon says or in K Moon's video that so I had a very good opportunity to be able to do that so I am so super uber uberly excited um, to have that opportunity to be able to do that let's look into the energies of today I'm feeling uh, again um, it's something about we clean up is some things that we regret or some things that we have not done. I know I've been told several times that again, we're ending karmic cycles too as well. Uh, we're stepping more into our mission clear. We're clearing out. Speaking of clear, we're clearing out things that no longer suits us. Uh, this part of our journey that again is showing up that if it's giving us problems as far as in our health, uh, we're looking and using that. We're really looking for clues to say, you know, what's going on? Why is this happening? Should I continue on on this path? Should I continue to have this person in my life? Uh, should I have, uh, go ahead and do this? Uh, so there's a lot of things of cleaning house. Uh, that's kind of like energies that I'm um, picking up too as well. Uh, the thing is, again, our love, uh, soul's journey is love interesting love uh, excuse me my nails i had gotten done i have not taken them off but i was like this message is more important so this week it is i commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things love um i think also we're being really introspective even when we are at the point of letting things go we are still looking about as far as what was our part that we had did or you know it's no longer just looking to see that it's just that person it's like like we're getting to the point like the old spiritual prayer it's me oh me oh it's me oh lord standing in the need of prayer i can't it's not my brother not my sister but it's me oh lord remember that it's not my brother not my sister but it's me oh lord standing in the need of prayer it's me it's me it's me oh lord standing in the need of prayer it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. So we're finding that it's not just others, that it is also me that is a contributing factor to this. And seeing that me being a contributing factor, maybe it's, again, what are some ways that I am not being loving or not being, uh, they're not being loving or, again, vice versa, or it's, again, it's a collective effort. Um, I'm getting pulled that again. It's just really about love, uh, a word that comes and goes. But few people really know what it means to really love somebody. It's like really, I like that. I, it's really, uh, and that's Kirk Franklin. Love somebody, oh, love. <laughs> a word that comes and goes. But few people really know what it means. So, again, uh, but right now we're seeing that, you know, through the actions of others, and maybe we have been the one that's been let go, or we have been the one that's been letting go uh, of those things because we're really getting ourselves on track for the very thing that we know what love is. We're getting there because we're really trying to really understand what does it really mean to love. 
and this is our journey, you know, really having a love on the job, really having a love for the people that are in our surroundings, that we meet new people in our soul circle, not in our soul circle, for our furry babies, for our real, our real human babies, you know, for family, and really getting everybody on tune with it. Because it seems like to me, like, if it's not in alignment with this love thing is like again we're saying you know sirenara hit the door it's really us really getting into that and some of this love thing is about mission about how i can be able to spread love and we're getting more into that too as well uh what kind of things rather it's out there standing for calls or creating some kind of organization or doing something of that nature we're getting to that point that it all boils down to what do i really love and what does it really truly mean to love um this is where we are let's look at the energies overall for the twin flame so that's what the overall lesson that this week that we should be doing is really truly love showing compassion this is what i'm saying but again showing compassion to others but again it's saying okay but i love myself more and i'm not getting to the point that i'm doing it too i'm i am sacrificing again no more of doing that um kind of vibration we're not in agreement for signing up for that anymore of getting ourselves lost in the struggle or helping others and they're drowning and we're saying okay i'm gonna go in there and save them understanding that again that's not our job to be captain save a hoe as i call it saving people that again are not doing what they need to do in order to save themselves uh, and you know it's like a no more of doing that um because if you're doing that and you're into i mean if somebody said war warmongering uh if you're doing all that kind of stuff like that and it's not had to do with anything sexual it's like again you into that worldly stuff you know i want this this the material being greedy those things i can't you know be with that if you want to stay in ego and i'm giving you another solution of how you can be able to get out of that uh, and you're not taking it, and I'm coming from a place of love and light, then I'm going to have to give you the sign of the cross and tell you just go on ahead and find your way because I want to stay over here in, what say, love with self and in that love vibration. Collectively, what we're doing is, again, as interesting as saying, is the throat chakra. The throat chakra is being very active. Some of us might be still having some interesting things going on, like I even feel myself uh, doing that saying being calm is a priority in my life right and if you love yourself and you want to protect your peace instead of you having to go get you a piece to protect it uh, you'll find yourself um, doing that because that's that love like I say you want to really at this point contract really protect the things I'm seeing like a person like this saying gathering all this stuff I really want to protect the things that I actually love that and that first thing is now starting with self this I'm now starting to get a lot of us are saying also when we talk about this fifth chakra i feel also as well is a uh, expression this is being worked on too as well maybe for some of us i've heard because of the serious gateway and some other energies is coming in that we really uh this is getting upgraded some of us is having difficulties some of us might have our other selves um, that's another word i'm going to start using here and i like kirk saying that but it, to me when i use it it shifted something within me it made it more or less distancy more that's you that's it so and also taking the onus of acceptance of i'm playing a part and that's part of me that's over there doing this expression as a man uh you know it because that is what you all call my divine lover or my counterpart uh, is expressing as a man. I chose to be the female and the male. And so that is uh, right now my focus is on, and that's what's showing up right now is I'm saying is you all label as the twin flame or my divine lover, the one I feel like this. I, as Kate Moon said, I'm going to do transformational, learn transformational love, the love that transforms me. Um, is that, and, and that's, what it is and it might be i'm hearing transitional too because you got some things like different leadership transformative leader transitional you know helping you to transition from one to another a situational leader because of the situation you know you'll find again in the way that they're leading again so a transformer a formative lover a true transformational uh, lover too is uh again helping to be able to transform you 
and in that connection that we have there this is again strengthening as far as what we're vocalizing what we're speaking into existence how we even speaking to them and saying again my other self are we really truly exhibiting love is the situation that we in really truly love is it giving us that energy exchange as april will say about that it's about energy exchange i give to you you pour into me is that really action well then guess what i think it's time for me to look get out that old checklist that i had before and start saying about what ways are we falling short then okay if it's falling short on my end it's falling short on your end and this is not truly love and i think that we have did run the cycles and ending of it i think we need to say okay it's time for this find a uh, nearest exit sign and start signing off or go stage left or start saying rolling the clips uh at the end the credits is is start to kind of cue that right now because this is where we're finding ourselves that and if we're not doing it uh we're seeing that again the universe is helping to give us a nice little gentle nudge some of us been nudging as k moon has said in um the podcast yet really good golden nuggets in there uh you know after a while it starts to it send you and she say it send you a mail and then after a while, it just kind of like tap at your door. Hey, do you remember I told you to do X, Y, Z? You know, she said, next, it'll bust through the window. <laughs> it's like, okay, and whisper to you kind of loudly and forcefully, I told you to get rid of them. You still in this situation. And then next thing, it'll send a two by four. She said, and bop you upside the head. Uh, we don't want that. Like, I always joke with David, and excuse me, I don't want to insult anybody, but I say I'm not spiritually retarded. Or another way to say that is that I'm not spiritually challenged. I don't need you to come with no two by four. It's some things, but I don't need you to break out the two by four every time I go through that. And we call it the tower moment. So this is where we are as far as being able to express and communicate. This is a real good push. It's no more biting your lip and biting your tongue and looking and like uh, one of the kids gave me a cup and it said, although my mouth might not say it, but my face is going to show it. Uh, that that's not gonna go anymore. Like, mm, <laughs> okay, there you go. Again. Oh, you acting crazy. She acting crazy again. Okay, all right there, but I ain't gonna say nothing. You said something? No, I ain't said nothing. You, it, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. How you, how you doing? You look like you're doing all right. You, you struggling a little bit? No, I ain't struggling. Oh, okay, well, you know, let me, let me stop. That is everything cool over here. You cool? I'm cool. No more of that kind of stepping on like eggshells around people. You gonna find yourself again speaking your truth, and then after a while you say the sign across, and I'm not gonna speak anymore on that because now for me to keep on going back and forth with you is again to pour more energy into it and that's not showing self-love that's a matter of fact we get to the point that i'm giving my power away and we're learning that now again speak up no more power give it back to me that belongs to me no you no longer can have that anymore that's my power you know and again and so we're visiting that uh because again it's always uh here it's saying the energy is about this Temple path, which is understanding it's about 12. It's about divine order. It's about everything being in divine order to get you into the place, thank you, that you're meant to be or you need to be, according to them. They're saying that the universe needs you to be. I've heard and I've seen, you know, I know it's about trends and what things have been said to me. Again, that right now, this is great push that we needed. Some people has got to hurry up. I'm seeing them almost like a, a, a play. They put me into an auditorium or a regular, yeah, a regular place for a play that you would go to. And it looks like they're telling them, I'm seeing somebody like this, pop, pop. And you know, you've ever been into a um, place where you see like that, even like even you eating, um, having dinner. And I've seen the maitre d' this go, this do like this, and all of them assemble. You know, ain't nothing said. To me, it's like the universe is like, I'm getting ready to put that finger up to direct that everybody need to be in place rather you in that auditorium or, or playhouse or whatever it is that it is and it's like we need you to be right there to be able to usher these people in this is why it's a great rush some of us again um i don't know who it was and i like to give credit to people again uh who has stated that it's saying is right now some things are going we're going to go much faster 
through things because it's like listen here i really need you so i need you to hurry up like the matrix and get all this program and blah, 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 and get back on that you know some of them might be in separation and the separation might not be as long as they used to be because it's like i right, hurry up both of y'all i need you you know okay whatever you stuck on stupid he stuck on stupid okay i'm gonna show you your area ways a little bit more faster than it was you know before again i let you kind of work through it uh, but you know, it's like a person like I, you know, it's ready time to go. You've seen them in movies like, come on, here's your keys and your purse, here's your, uh, your coat. And they throwing it all into their face and they like, okay, all right. And they pushing them out the door. It's kind of like for some, it's like that. It's like, we ain't got no time for you to kind of discover. It's like, we're going to plainly put it up there. Now again, yes, free will is at play. But for some of you all is saying it not so much. <laughs> Uh, we need you and we know that's probably your soul contract and we need for you to follow through on what we ask you to do. It's <laughs> almost like a gangster. It's time for you to play up. <laughs> I'm not going to use this word. It's time for you to pay up, hot shot. Uh, yeah. You been out there working and doing your thing, out there on the street on your own, you know, out there in the twin flame in the world, the real world, kind of doing the 3D, doing your thing now, you know, because before when I talked to you, before you came, down from the 50, it was some things that had been discussed. You know, you signed a contract or you had made an agreement that this is what you're going to learn. Because again, this is about several lifetimes, if you believe in that, or these some things that you've been energetically keep on bumping and you ain't learned yet. And so we're going to kind of help to kind of push the process along. <laughs> so, yeah. So some of us might be having them child moments, you know, uh, this kind of like. Beep, 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 beep. To get you where you need to be um and so this is where we kind of are on that one uh i'd use that for that one um let's see about what's going on with the divine masculine energies how we doing for time good divine masculine energies clearly you know divine masculine energies is about how we show up how we again that energy outward what we do out in the world to make changes to make things happen for divine masculine energies or if you want to do it the old-fashioned method again whoever it is is out there and being worldly uh that's not uh again uh as some people say not watching i don't know if i'm in agreement with that i think there is some but most of the time they say is it divine feminine energies that's watching i don't know again like i said if you both have both polarities it can be, again, I think they figure they're too much in the world to be, again, curious or to be awakened uh, in some ways. It's something about that I'm not in total agreement. And the spirit keeps on saying it's more layers to that. It's not so cookie cutter that, again, that uh, divine masculine energies would not come on something like this um, to see. I'm not in 100% in agreement with that. Um, it has to show me. Right now, what did I just tell you? Man, oh man, I shuffled the cards and it said urgent. Maybe I should turn it sideways so that you can see that I'm not pulling like a rabbit out of the hat. Is it going to go with me? <laughs> Where's the top? Yeah, this is it. Okay, or is it going to still stay sidelines? Looks like when I did that before, it still stayed sidelines. Anyway, maybe I'll put it down just a little bit. So you could be able to, oh, it looked like it's better. But so you could be able to see. Let me see, my little top came off. Hold on one second. I forgot it's way over here because I was genius enough to do it like that. Okay, so um, let's leave it there urgent i try to do a little bit more but you hey you've been rocking with me long no i don't just pull out you know i got a sister um urgent i told you the cards don't lie okay it's an urgency it's an urgency for them to move into this love of loving of self let's have that union first of self and really looking around and seeing is this truly what it says what it really means to love is it really truly that you know is it just a is it love a word that comes and goes 
is that or is the people around you really knows what it means to love somebody it's an urgency for the divine masculine energies i'm gonna do my clarifiers to see about that why is there urgency we know it's an urgency to express there's an urgency to be able to get into the temple, go within to find the answers that you seek. It seems like to me, as I'm looking in this here, um, some of them are moving to the energies of they have observed some things. Some things, again, they're seeing that they got to be a little bit more uh, in their wits about it, be a little bit more clever, how you can blend about what's going on. Uh, that you can't see behind the scenes with the things that you can um, solidly see in the 3D. Uh, really looking and seeing how you use your intuition and your awareness and really got a real dead on spot on understanding as far as what it is with these illusions uh, as well that's being shown to you. So it is in alignment with your uh, hopes and dreams and wishes. I want some more clarified about this. Uh, because again, you're moving into this, it says a new life energies. Okay. No reversals. Let's claim it that way. It is again, if you observing and if it's the other side, if it's reversed, that means it really means that. Cause I don't like that. It gets kind of uh, uh, like that muddled. So really it has observed some things because you have observed some things. There's some urgency about what you're seeing out there and you're seeing some things that you got to get a little bit more clever to make sure that these things manifest. Um, not slick about it, but it's just a little bit more of a, uh, again, a kind of maneuver with a little bit more finesse than what you've been doing. Because right now you got this new uh, life. Why? It's because in your spirit... In the divine masculine energies there's this want of a new life a new beginning there feels like i got these wings like a butterfly and i'm coming out of the cocoon and i want to fly i'm not quite there yet but you have to again build something to me that reminds me of the poise card with this which means you got to build confidence you got to start upholding and uplifting the spirit what the spirit is now saying to you and drawing from you your divine feminine energies now is asking and calling for you to want this new beginning this new life it also understands you're moving into energies that it's time to clean up some stuff and i told you that's all in the atmosphere the divine masculine energies understands that that again in the outer in the world of how you are showing up the energies and how they're manifesting things and and moving things and how you're going about making it happen understands it's some things that's got to clean up you feel like right now you got to clean up all right here you can say clean up your own your own front door that's the old thing where they tell you got to sweep around your own front door you got to clean up okay right now your own front that mean i ain't tending to your business right now whoever's around me that i don't feel is in love you're taking that power back because you're saying you know what i'm circumventing too much of that stuff we call it soul retreat well some of us are feeling feeling that way like where have i dropped a little bit of my soul or a little bit of my heart here and there and it's time for me to retrieve it back and i need to invest that back into me and that's interesting it's almost reflecting as far as what's going out in the world where we got inflation and you know stock market Market is doing like that and that's causing for some of us to, again to in the material things like cut back not like maybe not go out so much entertainment or maybe not so much on the going here i used to go to these places and take these trips maybe i started doing staycation so this is the same thing that you're doing here and it's reflecting also it's a lot of again energy where have i spilled my energy i spent and invested my time and effort and love into and say it's time to clean up because right now you have you moving and you're in the energy understanding of this why you've been questioning why is this happening you know i keep on doing this but this happens why does it seem like we're still on the same cycle and we haven't changed from that why are you still asking me uh for this and it doesn't seem like i see any growth from you why are you still you know in this all this questioning is really getting down to reminds me of, of I had one person I remember in life. She could accuse me of being uh Columbo. She said, You 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 like Columbo. And I said, What do you mean? Say so you ask a lot of questions, but you already know the answers to. You just want it to come out there like Columbo and say, Gotcha. 
already know. You're asking these questions, but within, you already know what the answers are to this. It's like, no, no, you don't. You know, you, you say you do, but your access ain't, ain't, ain't matching up. Like I said, why? What's, what's going on here? This, this really, truly love here. Uh, is this really this job? You know, why am I showing up this job? And every day I have to talk to myself to show up. You know, why? Why, why are you doing this? You know, why, why am I saying uh, we're divorced, but okay, you know, it's, it's inflation, but it's a little hard out here. So maybe we'll stay together and we'll live together in this house uh, until then. And you're like, but he was abusive to me. Why am I doing this? Why, why am I coming up with this compromise? That don't make any sense to me. You know, or, or why Why am I, 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 I'm doing this? So, you know, some of those things there, again, is, is making it saying why, but you already know what's the answer and where you want to end up to. And because you're asking these questions and you know it's an urgency to help you to hurry up to think about where you are and the universe, they're saying, is giving you this too as well because it wants you to start. It's starting to put things in your path to start making you question too. It's like, yeah, you're right. I remember that scene in Boomerang. And I think I always share about that all the time where um, Eddie Murphy was going with Holly Berry, which was the good, too good, good girl for him. But he loved what um, what uh, the other role, Lord have mercy, I can see her. Oh, God have mercy. The other one that I could see her, and she's showing me her face, and I'm like, what's your name again? Whatever it is, she was supposed to be that hot executive. And, uh, again, she was, he was, ended up being in her bed. And I just seen her the other day, Lord have mercy, this child's name is not coming to me. Anyway, and, um, and no, it's not Holly Robinson Pete. That is not it. So don't even be trying that with me. Uh, bring it to me, God, dog. Anyway, and so then, um, he was in her bed, and uh, you know, he's like, he stopped, and then he was like, you know what? Uh, this, this, this is I'm, I'm in love with so and so was Holly Berry's role, and she said, well, if you're in love with her, what you doing in my bed? And he looked at her and said, you're right. Why am I? And he proceeded to get all this clothes and went, you know, and that again, it's like those questions to make you kind of wake up like, you're, you're right. That's what the universe is saying. I'm putting these situations and these people in there to make you do that. Like, yeah, you question me. And then I'm like, yeah, why am I in this marriage? Yeah. Why am I at this job? Yeah. Why am I doing this thing? Why haven't I started that organization? You're right. So this is where we are here with this and I'm seeing this platform which is giving us a platform and an intention and an objective and a mission as or a vision as to what we be, need to be doing next. This is where we are. When we're talking about uh, the divine feminine energies clear She got a lot. A lot of these is jumping out. <laughs> okay, divine feminine energies in our spirit, collectively. Um, it's about okay. Let me put this down because you know how I will forget. Love. What does it mean to truly love? DM is questioning why. Okay. Questioning why. Because it's urgent. Okay, you know me. I got to write this stuff down. Otherwise, I forget. <laughs> I'm like, what was the title again? That was a damn good candle, and then I forgot what it is. So for the Divine Feminine Energies, let's see what's going on with them collectively. So the Divine Feminine Energies is what we observe. That's more so about, again, how we're being in the energies and things that are going on within and how we are going about being centered with that uh, as well. 
So we're saying again, living revenge. Divine feminine energies, it says, I live in my best life helps me to deal with any injustices. What this says to me is, and I got it right off the back, it told me it's about that self-love. So let's say if you and the person is in separation or something about you on the job or somebody said family member or whatever it is like that or you've gotten uh you're married and you separated divorced or whatever it is whomever it is observing like they're saying uh, on the outside what they're saying is the best thing of how you can get back to that is to concentrate on living your best life so again even if that person is not doing whatever it is that you want them to and you have moved on or you thinking about moving on the best way to show love in the whole situation is to just concentrate on yourself and not pour energy into the person i already said that because again we're getting pushed out of that energy about that pouring and do it, doing a little here leave a little here there everywhere and then again uh it, you you <laughs> say wait well, like you just don't care you need to go back and retrieve those things because that's not good again you got your power everywhere and so you need to do again a soul or heart or whatever retrieval of your power from everywhere so from now on when you speak and you do things remembering that again i'm holding on my one part of self-love is to empower myself how you do that is not to give my power away next thing shine the star reminds me of my dad because that's what i used to have this is ringtone for me for now you're a shine star no matter who you are, shining bright to see, so you can truly be who you truly be, whatever it is, like that. So that way, shining star, so you will always stand out above all the rest. So to me, again, to love yourself is just that what is came to me now about this shining and doing your things. You don't, and I told David, the soul mission is too. We don't have to do anything. We keep on thinking that we got, that's another thing about this power overexerting like i got to really be over loving i got showing my actions simply put they have told me that we are the light has already been placed in us we don't even have to say anything just being there is that i learned that from my other self that a lot of times um he doesn't have to really have to say anything <laughs> and one way i learned that is because again um some things i have seen that just presence like when it's not there on the job i could tell it's a whole different vibe when it, he is on the job it's just him being it's a whole different energy that resonates and that's us we can even in the classroom with me we could just be there we don't have to do anything people to me are being changed and healed and shifted just from our presence some of them have a good reaction to it and receive it and say oh it's something different some of them have like a negative reaction and uh you know they got to kind of again adjust themselves to the light to get rid of the darkness and then they get on it but you don't have to do anything like that that's why sometimes we're sent to different places because our energy and our light is needed so again shining bright enough to the, there's no competition and again that's where another thing we can express love to is understanding that that there's no com competition i don't need to compete with anybody else i am the best and i think that in one of those um subliminals i did that uh, i trust in the process of divine timing breathing room so again some of us we have been called on separation from certain things uh, again that's to give breathing room to me it gives room for you to grow for spiritually to grow uh, something that you've got to grow into spirit has given you I, I think somebody had some kind of thing like they had big shoes and they're like why did they give me those big shoes and it, again it was like again it, so you could be able to grow into them it's like i don't know it's like some parable about a young child was given that and left maybe by a father i'm giving that this being brought to me and it's like why did he leave that knowing this child couldn't he say because that's something that he's got to grow into he'll grow into my greatness he'll grow into that and he'll probably and then he'll grow out of them and get another pair because again the thing is 
when we do those things, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to do greater things. But sometimes, again, you have to grow into that greatness. So, again, there's that breathing room. And some of us have been called to have that separation because there's some more growing we have to do. And right now, in the way that that relationship is, or the dynamic of that job there, is too tight. And so we have to let that go so we can be able to expand and to be able to have that breathing room, that space, so we can do that. Some of us, again, and that's been a running theme I even seen in the cards where it said, again, we're playing ourselves too small. And that is, again, uh, we are divine. And divine can't be housed and crammed into a certain box, a certain ideology, a certain beliefs, a certain psychology. That's our, And so, again, this is what I'm picking up when we're talking about that. Our performance. I surrender my need to please in order to feel accepted. I am good enough just the way I am. Some of us are out there performing, okay, in the divine feminine. And our spirit is saying, I, I can't get with this no more that's showing me lily pads here. You know, I can't get that. There's a growth. It's an opening. There's a spiritual awakening to that, to understand that I can no longer play like I love this. I can no longer play like I love being here. I can no longer, you know, love that I love how I'm acting or how I am in this relationship. So again, there's a, it's something that we have to go back and revisit and seeing in our spirit, are we just playing a, 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 a clown or we're just playing a part and we're not truly being who we are. That's again, masking. So red flags, this is what they're saying again, uh, for divine feminine energies. Red flags. I listen to my instincts when things seem off. I do one, as they say, I do one better. I do one solid. I listen to my intuition. We get into the part again when we talk about love, where's love? Love resides into our heart. Our heart, they talk about your heart would lie to you. No, your heart knows. It knows truly what you want and truly what your desires are. It's the mind and the ego that comes together and lies to the heart. The heart is so. Again, it's not gullible, and I won't say it's naive. It's so pure that, again, it's like, you know, yeah, I can see, like, two of them getting together. Now, you don't need to do this, this, this. But the heart is like, okay, I'm going to be quiet because you all say I don't need that, you know, but I will keep on. You know, you have some people say that, yeah, mm -hmm, uh-huh, yeah, I heard you. But the heart is saying I still want X, Y, and Z. That's my heart's desire, you know. I understand what's happening what you saying and what you're saying but i still want this this is again listen to again the red flags what did i tell you in the other the heart to heart talk that we have one of the red flags is looking at, at listen to you say uh listen to your body your body your body's gonna tell you it ain't gonna do like r kelly saying i don't see nothing wrong no it, it, it's gonna tell you no i feel in my heart this don't feel right uh, this don't feel, this don't feel right. <laughs> this, this, this don't feel right. <laughs> like, uh, we might need to reevaluate and calculate this. Just because mama said it's good, I don't know if that's good for me. So this is where we have to pay attention to the red flags. Fierce. I have the spirit of a warrior and will rely upon this energy to get through any challenges I may face. So in our spirits, we feel like we got that warrior spirit. Like it's like, rah, I want to just take over this fierceness. I want to protect my love fiercely, you know, and really with no, taking no prisoners and don't care I, what they say, uh, taking names and asking questions later. This is where we are with this fierceness in our spirit. It's like, I want this. And so, again, we're in that mode of that warrior-ness uh, of doing. When we talk about the divine uh, feminine energies as well, too, we're talking about I understand that every soul I encounter has crossed paths with me for a reason. I am blessed by all interactions. To me, again, 
although whatever situation you all call it karmic situation or whatever like that whatever helps us to get that dojo moment and leads us to whatever lessons or whatever patterns or as uh k moon said that she believes karma is like uh you throw a stone and it's like a ripple effect in the water but uh, however like in you take that stone away and the thing is still rippling you're like what was the cause for that and some of us uh we still got to deal with it in order to calm like she said the waters or it either we have to do something or it do it on its own and so some of these things that again that in life we have to pass um life lives that we had or even in this life in the past because of certain things that happened they have created that we've got to kind of like deal with that and so in this tribe that they're saying that we have to be thankful for these people that came along that if they're coming no matter it's good bad or indifferent they help us to truly know what it truly means to love then we have to thank those that come along spirit is going to be uh excuse me got a release Spirit is now going to be um, also attracting those people that help us with our path, with our mission of union with even ourselves, with the person or this uh, place, person, place, a thing, or this job that you want or this house that you want to go. It's going to be bringing in people to help you get on this mission. I know it said July 13th that came to me. I always think that everything from that point on, I don't know, it's July 13th to the 18th. Whereas it's time that anything that's about home, home is where the heart is, and you really want things to start manifesting. That time period right there is really good. I'm saying maybe the 21st too. You just got a little extra three days out to kind of help you out with that. Um, can help to be able to make that solidify. Uh, so you got to thank and bless the interactions because these interactions that we have no others is helping us to really fine-tune ourselves and we're really truly getting a good definition of what it is that we like oh no they said what we love and what we don't love okay speaking of love let's look real quickly into the connection what is it again as we're connecting the divine feminine and divine masculine energies uh as well um let's do like for both of the energies because they're going to be in here anyway uh, period. So we talk about that relationship and how we connecting um, the aspect of it right now. Current energies is with the divine masculine energies. It's about having support, understanding that one is being nurtured by the divine feminine energies uh, as well. Uh, and then really wants it to be mutual, like she's really falling back into that. Okay, it's really, I'm accepting it. I know you got my back. You're supporting me as well. He's really communicating that. He's thinking about it. He wants to communicate that uh, as well. Uh, as far as how it's showing up in the world, the energies, how the energies want to show up in the world is really wanting to have, I'm thinking about it, I want to communicate it. The divine feminine energies within and the spirit is like, okay, I really am feeling like I want to, in my beingness, I want to be able to have love, really being centered in love on the brain, you know. And then also here we got the color red and the divine masculine wants to really truly be rooted in that and how I'm doing in the world being rooted in this love and this connection as well. There is a little bit on both. I see a sash there, but it's sash is draped on the divine feminine energies, her being able to stand in her power as well too. And that's something that again, uh, in the solar plexus represented there, how she's standing in her power. That's really something she's holding really close to the chest um, as well. And so this is something, again, we got this moon energy. So we got this uh, full moon coming up in Aquarius as well. I don't know when it's going to be new moon. So the, uh, this ha already happened. So we're moving into the full moon um, in Aquarius. That's going to help to really kind of be helping both energies to think about how they could be moving outside the box and what's good collectively for everybody. Because Aquarius energies is about also what's good for the goose is good for the gander it's also it's not it's more so outwardly and seeing how everybody can benefit from it uh as well so this is something that again that energy that moon is going to be about uh 
uh, here we got here we got something about a third party energies here uh, right now there's conflict on there and I'm seeing a number five came out just really you heard the baby's conflict in there too that's another sign about that and about this energy and it's causing conflict in the way of thinking as far as when we talk about this love there's a change about uh, going on there the divine masculine energies of how the energies of this love or this connection is showing up on the outer is really seeing uh that the divine um uh, house on the outside is really having everybody all entanglement because you see all this is almost looking like twister here how everybody is um uh, all twisted up holding this hand holding that hand again trying to make everybody comfortable and being in their heart space about this uh, the, the divine feminine energies in their spirit is really looking at the divine masculine energies, meaning how this connection is showing up, or the person who's outside of it that's not, uh, if you say awaken, is acting. They're looking both of the partners, the the, the say if it's two females and the male, the two females is looking at the male like and really observing and seeing about that. One is a little bit, both of them are open to the, again, the feminine energies is opening to the connection or receiving it. But again, I'm telling you right now, as far as this new theme of love, right now the connection is on five, it's changing because there's a conflict of thinking uh, going on right there. Uh, what's going on is again in the out of how this connection is showing of the divine masculine to be I'm looking at the word it has kind of made the divine feminine energies or the other partner again how it is in their feminine energies uh, again been extremely flexible it's been I've been very accepting uh, to the point that if you're saying the divine masculine energies is being more so of, of bending over backwards. I just still say that about that. And that's kind of manipulating and kind of overly. It's like I'm bending it so much to say again how much of the love there to is almost it's like again it, you it's 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 back breaking uh too as well, literally. Uh, and you know, however, the divine feminine energy the spirit said, I can't support it. Uh, even although this is very uncomfortable, this is where we are as far as how things are being shown there and still be connected. The divine masculine energies, how it's showing up in the world is really rooted in this thought process of how, this is how this connection is supposed to go. Um, in the mask, I'm not going to say divine in, on that one either, too. And the feminine is in that. And the next thing here, we got the 12. So in order for things to get into divine order and this cup from this masculine energy, so whoever is having the masculine, the one that's about the world and going out there and getting in the connection, the person who was out there in the world and more worldly or about doing things and getting the energies that's being exerted by this connection on the outside wants to offer a cup understands that it look like this color brown there's some things that's got to be eliminated in order for this to happen but understand that on his head it looks like this color red which understands that and his thinking it's got to get more grounded and rooted in things or again it kind of like a reddish orange has to be more into building uh, on his mind his mindset and this logic has got to get into mindset of understanding that i've got to want healthy relationships when it comes to love that's again going back to that introspection of understanding what does love truly mean and then also has to find himself as to being able to manifest this as well uh and so they're on a horse which means wanting freedom uh were they on something no and this is freedom, and this is white horse, and this is spiritually wanting freedom and wanting to ride off. And so in this turn here, in divine everything in divine order, the divine feminine is looking to the, the, uh, the masculine energy um, to, again, be in the, the feminine in their heart space, which is really being in the heart, even in their mind, have love, love on the brain, uh, love 
in their thinking too as well it's interesting how he's she's got him he's open the masculine energies is open he wants to really present that and she's really holding on the feminine energies too but it's interesting how it's holding that hand it's like i want you it's like i'm saying like take the cup look how he's holding the hand there again like it's like no take the cup um as well and he's got it there simply it, uh, the hand there is i'm holding on to you i got the cup and he's like that like hold it and i've got it or again there's some things i'm getting a kind of fork in the road there's some things that still got to be worked out on because i still get this hesitation for some not all that it's like not just yet i'm not ready to offer you this cup and the divine if the, uh, the feminine energy is like let me have it and it's like no i'm not ready just yet um, so this is where we are in terms of that, but wanting freedom, riding on freedom, spiritual freedom about this. But the divine master says, I know I got to get rid of some things. I need things to be in divine order. Gotcha. Uh, and then we got this one, one cup. So we can really achieve this again. True love, this love, this self love. I'm loving myself. You loving yourself. The divine master and energies and in mode to be able to receive the love, the divine feminine is the mode to be in like the driver's seat to say, okay, I'm in charge and he's okay with the feminine being in there. She's in her bliss being with the the, uh, the masculine energies. He's all in his heart space. He's ready to receive. He's got uh, the blue cap on, which lets me know he knows it's his thinking. He's ready to be able to communicate this too as well she's got yellow on which means she's standing in her power uh she's got healthy boundaries so that's why this ace of cups here uh is uh, right here and again there's an interesting she's at, on top or engaged with it she's the one that's like the driving force the feminine so again when you look at that when you talk about the connection the divine feminine is uh energies which is what's going on within spiritually and this connection is wanting this that is really the driving force is spirit now led because we're in our bliss we're standing in our power we have healthy connections uh um and we are standing in our power we have healthy boundaries excuse me uh for that blur and we, we, we are having a healthy connection that's quite healthy uh right there and then divine masculine energies on how it's showing on the outer in this connection it's like i'm really in my heart i'm in my heart from head to toe uh, space about this and also i know how to communicate this because i've been thinking about it and, and now i'm logically thinking about how to communicate this love space that i'm in it's not like i'm just picking some words just to be saying before i was manipulating the situation like it's been and having you bending over backwards uh, for this okay so that is the connection and that's how it's showing up is the energies for even the 3d or the 50 because i had one person say are you reading for the 50 or the 3d i'm confused i can't tell what's actually going on you know and so again uh that's the 50 i showed you how it's showing up in the spirit wants it to be and then also how in the divine masculine energy shows up how it's showing up in the actual outside so go back through that again and see clear how that can be uh as well let's get advice from the love angels uh as well shamiel and uh michael which is archangel michael who is the guardian of the twin flames and then um charity those are the twins uh, angels and those are the ones that represent that too as well so let's get some advice from them um we have no reversals soulmate this means again yes this is your soulmate now remember when they made the cards i don't want anybody to get all upset oh my god we talking about soulmate uh and i'm gonna say again to those i know we think 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 again and i want you to kind of like reel it in 
and not go over and beyond because I said my goal now is in my heart, my fireside chat is for those of us that ruminate and kind of overthink and overanalyze instead of staying right there on the surface. I think that's my specialty. I don't get caught up in the blah, 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 blah. every now and then I do, but when it comes to other, I know directly that's my areas. Directly where we need to go and directly what we need to see and not go for the hoopla and the illusion stuff. Soulmate means again this person, your twin flame, they didn't when they made the cards, they didn't know nothing about no soulmate. They knew about twin flames. I think in other editions, they might have upgraded this. Not too sure. But anyway, this means again, yes, that the person that you are or believe or think, and you're the one who's watching, say, I'm thinking it's so and so. I think it's Joey. I ain't too sure. This is your confirmation here to say yes. Even though if you don't know that it's joy for those of you all that's in between, you know right now you are the scripter or the writer for your play. Remember I told you about that, and you know, again, like um, Shakespeare said, world, the world is a stage with just mere players on it. Whatever that you have wrote and we're creating our own reality, this person is the one that you are divinely have chosen to be your transfer, uh, transformational partner. Okay, they're helping you to transform you. Whomever that's been showed up right now, say tag you it. You're the one that I want. Okay, like it agrees. You're the one, the one. Don't you want it? Ooh, 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 baby. You want the one? The, whatever. You the one. We do on that thing saying you the one. We Olivia and Newton John and John Travolta. We doing that. So again, you the one. All I'm saying is like they say again. You need to. You, uh, you need to get your act together. Okay, because you're the one that it, it, it's it. You're the one that I want. Uh, and so, this same thing, that's the soulmate there. Now, I'm going to say this for other people. There are, because my channel is vast there. Those of you are there not, and you say, listen here, it hurts in my heart. I know what love is. It hurts too much for me to be staying or waiting on this person. They don't look like they got I see the third uh, uh, energy that you bought. It triggered the heck out of me. And that's why I'm saying I don't want no love with the person like that because they entangled. They ain't let it go. So, again, that what I would say to you is that you're calling in for those of you all that say I'm on that thing where I want to open myself to love. I have given myself permission. That's more than my podcast. I'm doing that. That if I want to open up and they seem like they're still learning from this person and they're not ready to then again you call it in that soulmate and say yes maybe you've met somebody or you dreamed about somebody or whatever like that then yes that is your soulmate if that's what you're choosing as well but again it goes various, you know, and I've been told so many times from my visits of uh, going to the other side and talking things and talking to uh, um, ancestors and talking to dad and whatever you want to say. They keep on saying we keep on trying to make it simple, although some of the solutions to what we got to do is we got to keep it simple. But some things, the explanation of how things are going on are very complicated and com not complicated. They don't like that. They say it's complex. It's layers to it. And you can't simplify it by saying it's just that. Okay, God wrote a something, time stamp, something like that, and stamped it. Because they want you to understand that this is true love. These cards are coming out and just telling the story. The cards don't lie. This is the romance of a lifetime. Whatever you're calling in, whoever you are connected with, that is the romance of a lifetime. It keeps on saying it's all this divine feminine energy is leaning into. You know, it's got to, again, like I tell you about divine timing, it's got to be, uh, uh, to me, it's like in my spirit, I'm in agreement for this. So I'm going to surrender into it, you know. I'm going to surrender that this is my person. And the divine masculine energies is saying, and it's true love to me, like, again, yes, okay, I'm here and I am protecting this love again and we're connected together hand to hand i see also a pillar here so that means it's about some foundation to this being set here too as well uh and it, it's a pillar too and that's foundation upholding the also you're getting guided by the divine masculine energy means on the outside how we show up is being guided 
right now. You got your spiritual team that's helping to guide you along on this walk too as well. As the divine feminine energies, that means how we are inside is really setting the foundation to uphold this type of love so she can be able to surrender in the spirit into it and to relax into it and to a, come to a part of acceptance. Uh, this is what I have. So right now, collectively, um, what is it? Did I say fair? No, well, it's going to be for everybody right now because I want to be over in, in an hour. Okay. Um, I don't think I picked for anybody. Did I? Clear. Mm. Well, anyway, if it is, I'll come back. I'll watch it and I'll put a disclaimer down at the bottom. Uh, too many cards. <sighs> Clear. So let's put a nice red big bow on there. What do you want to say? What is that actions that we need to do moving forward right, with divine feminine energies and divine masculine energies? Okay, so we got this three of cup energies here. To me, this is about, again, oh, woo, them ace came out. I seen you, you're high, you saying pick a boo. All right, so in order for us, the direction that they want us to, to me, what I'm seeing is a sense of community. It's embracing all of it. I would say even as go as far as, again, about that three-party energies. Thank you. I think it came in one of the cards there, too, again, about thinking about other people's part that's showing up the tribe. That's helping you, even the person that they're in, they're helping to mold them. Iron is sharpening iron or whatever it is. They're helping to mold them into the person that understands what true love is. You know, again, the surrendering into that situation and allowing them to go ahead and do their job. I'm seeing saying great job uh, into doing that. And some universe is saying thank you. I'm seeing it and say great job for you doing that too as well. Um, says Bridges. Yeah, and they're helping to build bridges to bring them on to the other side. I think last time I did a reading about that, about love, to go to the other side, to really pick and choose true love by the end of situation. So, again, you're getting uphold to me that Three of Cups. Again, it's community. It's about others coming to your aid, helping you out, pointing you in the right direction, you know, having those conversations when you feel like giving up and really saying true love is not out there for me. That is saying, okay, just keep up. Whether it's true love and you experience it with your family members or with yourself or with the job or anything like that because we are really, we got this Two of Cups it's really a coming together. There's two of cups here. This union uh, here is there. It's in the cards. <laughs> no pun intended uh, about that. But again, we've got to, I'm seeing these colors. To me, it's look like we got to expand, like taste the rainbow. We've got to taste all different variances until just like the bag of Skittles, we really got the one that we like. Because some of them, they be like, oh, I don't like that red, but I sure love that orange. That orange is on something you know so we've got to be able to have all variances just like light we glimmer and shine in all different variances and ways and this is one of the ways about that that we're being able to pour out that love that unity and we don't feel like we're shortchanging ourselves by doing that if you understand what i'm saying because some of us again that's why they're saying get your power back because you've been investing in other people and then you don't have any love to pour out to anybody else because when you do want to do it when you think about love you're thinking about you getting the short end of it uh, and then it's like okay let's start back over again collect again and then now let's look from it from another point of view of that pouring and that's that energy exchange too as well that we're being able to experience all things to be able to taste the rainbow and to be able to see where that pot of gold and where truly it is to be lucky or to be in this what it, it truly means to be loved uh, in this, and this is where they got this two of cups, this unity of both the divine feminine and divine masculine energies coming together. Whether it's union with self or union of your divine feminine and divine masculine energies saying okay about where you are in this space, in this job, in this place. Those things. Because we got tender wands. There are some, there is some action that needs to be taken. And again, this looks like to me, reminds me of Bag Lady. 
um, there's some action that some of us might need to get ready for an uphill climb to get this in our spirit. Our spirit is going to find ourselves again to me. This is like packing up stuff and moving away. Uh, that's an oxen there. Oxen are very hard working. So again, we might find ourselves literally pushing up the sleeves and doing some of this work that we might not want to do as far as cleaning out house. I <laughs> say a house is a house full of and I learned that it doesn't take but to be build it up build it up build it up so you know we might have to go ahead and to um do that things when we're talking about love okay all right just made it three minutes over um this is the ending here again just make sure that you are um Make sure that you listen to the podcast. A lot of good golden nuggets that's in there. Go to my community tab. It's listed right there about K Moon. I think that's episode 97. Uh, listen to that one as well. I'm found on all um, Spotify, Podbean, iHeartRadio, I heard Amazon, and some others. Somebody had get Google, uh, Samsung. I seen when I do my um, look at the stats. Uh, and I was like, oh, I'm on this, 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 this. So please go and check that out. Um, she took time out of the schedule to really pour in a lot of good energy and a lot of good information about Twin Flames there. Uh, also, remember, again, she we also touched upon past lives and why it's important. She shared a story about her friend that, again, that uh, had very loving parents, but some about them he couldn't connect. And he said, I can't stand my parents. And she's like, you know what? Well, you got that disconnect there and it's not coming together maybe you need that you might, you might say discontent when you have that uh you might want to check into a past life regression session to see why you dislike uh you got such a disdain for your parents and you know that they're loving she said because i met them they do everything for you and i don't get why you having that problem so again that's why past lives comes in when you can't connect the dots there's some missing some things are not matching up the way in which you know that you say i'm loving but i keep on contracting these wahoos or a partner or these jobs and i know that i'm great and they keep on telling me that uh my stuff is less than stellar and you're like i know i'm giving 150 percent what the hell is going on it's time for you to do a past life regression session you need to check into that and see what that is all about and see if there's some things patterns that you learn in this life in your childhood or earlier part in your life or is there access of past lives that's playing a part that's stopping you too as well um so get you uh, a past life regression session remember i have a special going on which is two hours for 125 uh, most of the majority of the time for three hours i charge 250 so, you know, it's well worth it because what I put in is energy cleansing too as well. It's not you just sitting there and I also have um, my guide scan you and look and see if there's any areas that need to be. I've got great results from it. Everybody uh, has walked away with physical ailments and things stopping and changing and shifting and feeling free and moving on. So I just had one of my clients that I seen I was very proud of. She didn't know about if that's uh should she graduate or should she go in that route of doing it and she just graduated uh and said she's on the route to go and get her master's next and then her PhD. Uh, so again, I would say that because when she left it, she said, I think I got a more clarity as to where I want to go. And it showed. Uh, and the proof came out the other day when she graduated. So that's why I said, you know, it's always good for you to get that, especially if you have a birthday or you're at crossroads or you just don't understand why things are not connecting. You need to check in with me and get a past life regression session uh, as well with that. Um, so go to ashantiwellnesscenter.com. All that stuff is in the uh, description box below. All right. Thank you so very much for listening. Make sure that you are asking, please hit the like, hit the share button again. I'm taking time out to help you out. Uh, I give you permission to hit the like and the subscribe button. I'm finding that out too as I'm doing. Um on my thing that again a lot of times we're not understanding that we have permission somebody communication we don't understand that we have permission to do certain things and again so i'm allowing you to be able to hit the like 
the share, subscribe, hit the smash the notification button and let you know it's okay for you to do that, you know, as well. Um, you know, sometimes it's not about you liking or saying you're in total agreement with it. It's just saying thank you for taking time out to give some of those maybe it might not be you but it might be somebody else that's listening and say oh i need that and i also that's a great interesting exchange for me to say to keep on going thank you for sharing that's all that hitting like means okay it doesn't mean anything else on that as well and also just like everybody else does too as well if you subscribe to this channel it also helps to make sure that we tie in collectively like they say the three of cups energies that i'm picking up your energies too as well as i am reading and pulling the cards so you're in there uh and a lot of times i pick you up you know not me just talking to a, a, a iphone um recording and this a blank screen that again we're seeing the image of me that I'm actually am picking you up. I can feel people who are watching too. I know who we are. And that's why I said my not, my focus now is to look and for those of us that have a problem and we stay too much in the brain and less into the heart and helping us to unravel that and unpack that to help to, what most of it is, is just trust is to use a trust in the heart because again, society is programmed into don't fo uh, follow the heart. The heart is gonna make you a fool, but the heart knows more so about what's gonna make you happy than your mind or your ego. Okay. All right then. So thank you for listening. Go out there and shine. I use my little plug that I do on my podcast. And remember to stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste and nama go. All right then. Until next time, I'll be talking to you real soon. All right then. Bye.